Events today jeopardized diplomatic efforts when North Korean armor encountered a so-called self-healing minefield while attempting to withdraw from the area. North Korean forces were adequately cautioned that self-healing minefields along the DMZ should not be considered cleared obstacles. We're back at the brink of war, and now we find out it is the Japanese? The Japanese are allies. I don't care if they're the Christmas elves. They sank the Walsh. We don't know that their government was involved. We know Admiral Otomo was involved, and we know where the gentleman is. We have to go in now, immediately. The fact is, we don't know how far the conspiracy goes. If Otomo's actions are sanctioned by the Japanese government, then the only solution is military. But if he's acting alone, your man again? He's already in position. Send him in. The State Department has lost contact with all of the U.S. officers who work at the Kokubo Sosho with the Japanese Self-Defense Force. It looks like the SDF have taken them prisoner, and they're refusing to answer our calls. In typical fashion, the Japanese are circling their wagons. Either they're afraid to admit they've lost control of Otomo, or they're actually sanctioning him. If that's the case, We'll have to come clean with North Korea, which will spark a massive war in Asia. If not, we need to find out what our officers know, and figure out what to do about Otomo before North Korea finds out what's going on. Sam, even if the Japanese government is not sanctioning him, Otomo still clearly has the capacity to strike. If he's still in control of the information arm of the SDF, you'll need to deal with him very carefully. There's no telling what kind of havoc he could unleash. Last contact we had with any U.S. personnel in the Kokubo Sosho was a fragment of a phone call from Major Harper, a logistics advisor to GSDF. From the sounds of the call, the room he was in was raided by Japanese troops and he was taken prisoner. It doesn't sound like anyone has been killed, and if there's any hope of maintaining peaceful relations with the Japanese, you're going to have to keep it that way. Fisher, I can't stress this enough. If one Japanese soldier dies, we risk World War III. Any fatalities and I abort the mission immediately. I understand. Locate our officers and find out what the hell is going on there. I'll find them. Defending the CIA building or something. What do you mean? Well, 
It's not like anybody would be crazy enough to bust in here. This is the easiest job in the world. A reminder to all enlisted personnel. Log in and out with your warrant officer after hours. I know! Six weeks out of a warranty, and bam! The thing is called Stringer! anything. Keep it that way. I have orders not to shoot you, but I have orders not to let you escape. Let's not find out which order is more important. We're not soldiers. We're just desk jockeys. We're perfectly comfortable here. And no going to the bathroom. Okay, fine. We can hold it. We'll be right here. Yes, you will. <sighs> Humid. not here to rescue you. That's okay. We're not really hostages anyway. What's going on? Not too sure. SDF rounded up all the U.S. personnel and locked us up. We saw some generals and ministers being brought in earlier. Where did they go? Into the war room in the sub-level. Hmm. The doors to the lower levels are sealed. A captain was just up here looking for combat-ready volunteers to go down there. Maybe the doors are open now. Perfect timing. Somebody will come for you later. Sam, we need to record everything that happens in that meeting so we can present it to the Joint Chiefs. It would speed things up if you'd let me remove some of the threats. Forget it, Fisher. Until we know who the enemy is, there is no enemy. No enemy means no kills. Deal with it. Him. Really? Uh, see? It made him stupid. Mamuru, 
Did you get shot with one of these? Uh, I told you, Dom is a sack of rice. <laughs> sack of <a> rice. <laughs> Fisher, from the looks of it, these guards are LTL equipped. Less than lethal. Why? There's only one reason I can think of that they'd issue them to combat troops. They'll want to interrogate anyone they catch. Well, I'm not the talkative type. What was that? Personnel are reminded to shred unnecessary hard copies of all documents prior to incineration. License plate Shibuya 3031-56 has been double parked. Please move your vehicle. Fisher, GPS shows you're nearing the war room. Intelligence says it's a tempest hardened cube. The only way you'll be able to record what's going on in there is to find some way inside. Tempest hardening might keep out electronic intruders, but I'm betting the room isn't airtight. Probably not.
What the hell was that? Sam, I've got some details on the building's infrastructure. This vent should come out directly over the war room. I'll try and laser mic the meeting from there. Good. We'll let you know when we have enough to make the Joint Chiefs happy. What is he thinking? No alternative. He will die first. I'm sure. Hello. Sir, he is Admiral Otomo. Admiral? What is the meaning of this? You will repeal the post-war constitution. You will order the immediate remilitarization of Japan and return control of our nation to the order of the Emperor. The United States will support this act politically and militarily to release themselves from further financial and military obligations, thereby concluding our relationship in Asia. This is impossible. Even if we repeal the Constitution, the Emperor would never... Someone the Emperor will do what the military tells him! I am not an unreasonable man. These efforts will take time. I have faith in your honor and prudence. Nothing. So I give you 96 hours. 96? The people will never allow it. If in four days these demands are not met, I will initiate the launch of a North Korean ballistic missile and sacrifice a Japanese city over my choosing. Regrettably, this will kill millions, but it will steal the will of the people if your appeals cannot. For the sake of your honor, and for the sake of Japan, I plead with you. Do not force my hand in this matter. That's it. He caught the signal. My god. Good god, Fisher. That confirms it. Otomo has been manipulating the Japanese government the entire time. At least they're not sanctioning his actions. What's the next step? How do we stop Otomo? If we're lucky, we might not have to. What do you mean? Grim? I'm worried about that general, Fisher. He's been awfully quiet working on his laptop. Access it from here. Let's see what he's planning. Will do. I'm trying to reconnect. Ops, this is central. We have your feed. The general... A moment. Ronan in position. Waiting for the word. Uh, Ronan, you are gold. Holy Pete, you are gold. A moment. Open it. Code's been changed. Open the door! Shut the boat! Got it! Back up! Breach and clear! Go! Clear! 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 We're in the two! What the fire in there, Roland? Affirmative! Form up! Keep it tight! Watch your angle! Come in, Ronan! Oh, come in! Ronan! Up! Ronan is locked! We're done! The Admiral again, sir! Admiral, we... Fool! You waste your time to scheme like a dog! If you are unable to act honorably, then I will force you to act! You will not be able to deny the demands of the people after North Korea destroys one of our cities! You will know which one! when it is annihilated. What are our options? 72 hours? 
How do we contact the Emperor? Good Lord! Otomo is going to launch a North Korean missile at his own country. What's the time frame? Could be hours, could be minutes. Get down there and destroy his servers. What about extraction? If you can't take out those servers before Otomo forces a launch, there won't be any reason to extract. And if I do take out the servers? We'll make that part up as we go. That's half a plan if I've ever heard one. I am hearing things. Yeah, not good. Let's just stay calm. A reminder to all enlisted personnel, log in and out with your warrant officer after hours. I just got off the horn with the Joint Chiefs. I'm lifting the non-lethal mission parameter. Fifth freedom with everyone except Otomo. You're kidding me. We need to capture him alive. His profile is pretty clear. He won't lie to a war crimes tribunal in the face of the evidence would offend his sense of honor. You need him to take responsibility so the rest of Japan is off the hook with North Korea. Exactly. If Otomo dies, we're right back at square one. Bring him in breathing. Sending another assault team! Cut the power to the elevators! Fisher, North Korea just contacted NORAD and the President. They report that they've lost control of a launch facility. They can't abort and they're not sure that they can destroy the missile on time. How long? They say three minutes until it's away. I think I can reach the server in time. Hurry up!
Good thinking, Fisher. Any line on what's going on in this place can only help. Absolutely. They say 60 seconds until it's away. them, Fisher. Then bring in Otomo alive. My pleasure. Give it up, Admiral. It's over. Hmm. You think that I will surrender to you? You think that I will allow your people to strip me of my dignity? Throw me in chains? No, I think not. My people have endured your charming oppression for more than 60 years. You say tomato. Americans. Always turning to their jokes when their hearts are full of fear. And you should be afraid. I may be defeated, but I am a man. And ideas are stronger than men. You may even prevent this war, American. But the dragon has awoken. And he will not be so easily sedated this time. Now what? I think someone is taking himself a bit too seriously. We can't afford to let him die, Fisher. Get in there and stabilize him. Fast. Fisher, he's stable, but we still have to get him out of there. You're going to have to blast your way out. We're over a hundred feet underwater. You're not pressurized, Fisher. It will be a shock, but you won't get the bends. Next time, you're going on the mission and I'm making up the crazy plan. Admiral Otomo, former head of the Japanese Information Self-Defense Force, made a surprise confession today on the witness stand at the Hague War Crimes trial. Otomo openly admitted conspiring to instigate war between the Koreas and the United States. 
claiming that the... In other news, China's ambassador to the United States, Long Dan, received the Nobel Peace Prize today for his efforts in defusing the Korean conflict. President Bowers today addressed the nation following the crisis that brought us to the brink of war. Finally, I want to take a moment to thank those unsung heroes in the intelligence community who may very well have saved our nation and the world from certain disasters. Thank you, Mr. President. The boss seems happy. How about that raise? They're cutting us back. You'll have to settle for a vacation. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs>